Hey everybody, I'm Evan. And I'm Grayson. And here we are again with another video in our series where we're counting down our top three games uh, going through the whole alphabet. And this week is what? The Doom Dees. I'm not sure why it's the Doom Dees. I don't think I have any scary games on my list. Maybe you do. I don't Honestly, know. Honestly, I don't know why I say that. Either. Yeah, I don't know. But hey, here we go. So uh, I guess I'll go first again this time. And my number three is a game called Dinosaur Island. This is a game where uh, where you're running a dinosaur park. If you've seen Jurassic Park, you're basically playing that. But, yeah. but every person has their own dinosaur park that they're building. So, um, and you put the dinosaurs in the pens. Right, but, but first you have, you have these dice that you roll. So you roll the dice to get the DNA, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have to uh, harvest that DNA and turn that DNA into dinosaurs. Yeah. Um, then you get those dinosaurs in your park, and then you open up your park and people come in. Um, sometimes, and then sometimes the people get eaten. Well, yeah, well, sometimes, okay, so there's two different types of people that come into your park. There's just normal people paying customers. And then, and then there's the hooligans. Yes, there's hooligans that, that sneak in and they don't pay. Um, which those are bad because you don't get any money from your park. And you need money to make more dinosaurs. And not, not only make more dinosaurs, but you also need, uh, you know, like uh, food stands and, and hat mm -hmm. shops and, and t shirt sh sh shops and, and all that stuff. Roller coaster rides. And roller stuff coaster like rides, yep, and all that stuff. So there'll be like some objectives and uh, that that trigger the end of the game when, when so many are met. And, yep. But those are the points, too. So, yeah, that's Dinosaur Island. That's my number three. It's a lot of fun. But wait. All the peop the people will get eaten, but the 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 sneaky hooligans are quick, so yeah. they'll get eaten last. Yeah, that's true. The hooligans, the yeah, the, basically they never get eaten because they're, they're yeah, they're, they're because punks. you'll you'll have you'll have enough people at your park to for them to get eaten. <laughs> yeah, true. Usually, yeah, that's my number three. And my number three is dice fishing. Yeah, it's it's a game where you basically. You're fishing at a pond, and you're betting dice behind a shield where where the on on the fish to catch because you have to roll the dice mm -hmm. to catch the fish, and mm -hmm. they have like weird like um, numbers and other things. Right, to combinations do. of dice. Yes, or like, to catch. Right, like sometimes and they have to be all odd, sometimes they have to be all even, sometimes they have to you know all, all be over equal a number, or yeah. no equal. Right. Right. Yeah, and it's and it's a it's really fun and so um but the 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 if you bet the least amount of dice you go first so right but you'll have the least amount of ch chance at catching it right so everybody gets a gets d sixes and d tens and d twenties and stuff so you can mm -hmm. so if you have to roll a seventeen what's the lowest amount of dice you think you can roll a seventeen in well. It's one if you're using the D20, but also the D10 and D20 will be gone for a turn when you use Yeah, them. right, because they're more powerful dice. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really fun game. Mm -hmm. I like that one. I, I considered that one. And also, it's fun when you catch the Flapjack Octopus. Yeah, there's some really goofy fish in there. <laughs> the the Flapjack, Flapjack Octopus, I'll put a is, picture up here. It's the yeah. weirdest one. Yeah, it's funny looking, but it's fun. Yeah, that's a <laughs> yeah. fun game. Good pick. What's your number two? Oh, boy. My number two? My number two um, is a racing game called Downforce. Interesting. Um, yeah, this is a game where you you start out. Um, everybody, you, basically, you're playing as uh, like owners of the cars because because yeah. you, you do like a like a like you're bidding on the cars yep. to start the game. So everybody owns uh, at least one car when the game starts. Yep. And you have a handful of cards, and the handful of cards move all of the cars. So you're gonna well, wanna, mostly all. Well, okay, but they have the potential to move all of the cars, right? Mm -hmm. So not just your own. Right, exactly. So you're gonna want to try to maybe win, be the owners of cars that you have the most in your hand, but sometimes that's hard to control. Yeah. So when people, so when uh, the race starts, uh, everybody, not everybody plays. You play a card on your turn, and um, so and then that moves the cards. Yes. And they're like all sorts of crazy race tracks. Some of them are like super thin. Some sometimes in weird expansions, there's like animals. And, yeah, there there's a, there are, are some some are expansion really cool. maps for this. Um, but the but then at three certain points in the game, um, you get to make a bet yep. on who you think is going to win. 
And, and that's where you score the real big amount of points. Right. So Especially if you get it on the first try. <laughs> that's true. That's true if you can bet all three times in the winning car, but that can be hard because sometimes you're like, uh, I'm going to start out betting on my car, and now my car is in dead last. Yeah, so then so you start then, betting on other yes. people's cars. Yeah, I'm usually pretty bad at this because I always want my car to win, <laughs> and uh, it usually doesn't. I remember one time where I like... Like, there was a clear lead and it did win, but, like, I remember I bet on it twice, but, like, in the middle, it was, like, maybe second place or whatever, so I was like, I don't yeah. know. You gave up hope on it, and then it came through. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I, like, I saw it at the end. Okay, this one's going to win. Yeah, so, that, anyway, that's a really fun game, um, mm -hmm. and it's really easy to play, and it can play a bunch of people, so. Yeah, and there's all, there's all sorts of cool maps for it. There is. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so that's my number two, Downforce. And my number two is Detective Club. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, it, it's, um, it, you're like detectives. I don't really, <laughs> really would, I, I don't know how you describe the setting. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. But you're detectives, I guess, um, like, because, like, so one person picks a word that hands it out to everybody, but one person gets, like, a blank, a blank one. Mm hmm So, um... And so, like, you put, the people put down cards to, like, represent the word. Right. But because of the, because the person, one person doesn't, uh, doesn't know the word, they have to guess off of other people's cards right. what those, um, what, what it is. Right. So a good example is, let's say somebody puts sunshine, right? And everybody yeah. can put in, you know, three out of the four people or however many people playing know that the word is sunshine. So they're going to look at their cards, mm -hmm. which have these, you know, weird art and stuff on it. Yeah. It's and like, oh, well, this matches right. sunshine, this matches sunshine. And then the person who doesn't have it can be like, hmm, maybe it's sunshine. Yeah. Or, or maybe there's something else that those cards have in common. And like, hmm, maybe it's bottle or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, they all have bottles on it too, so maybe it's bottle. Right, and then that, that happens twice. And you had basically the other people have to put on who they think the... The, per the person is. At the end, right, you kind of have to explain, like, oh, yeah, I thought it was sunshine, and here's the sun. Uh, no, they, the person who did it tells the word, and then you yeah. have to explain why, why you thought that was, that was right. right. Why it was sunshine. Yeah, using that as an example, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, that's a lot of fun, and it's another one that's super easy to play. Mm -hmm. What's your number one? Oh, my gosh, your number one already? Um, my number one is Deception Murder in Hong Kong. Um, Interesting. Yeah, another like party game where you can play like, I don't know, I think you can play 14 people with, uh, with the expansions, but um, where uh, one person uh, is a, like a, a, a forensic scientist and everybody else are detectives trying to solve a crime. Except for the... Except one person is the person who committed the crime. But also isn't there the accomplice sometimes? Sometimes, but uh, just, just if you're just playing without the other roles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so like one, so this you start out with like some clue cards, four clue mm -hmm. cards, and they're all just weird stuff. And yeah. then uh, like four lunchbox and takeout. And then also four murder weapons, which are also again all super weird stuff. Yeah. Especially if you have the expansions and the promos, there's a tons of stuff to yeah, collect for this game, which I have done. Um, and then everybody closes their eyes, and the person who is the murderer points to the clue and to the murder weapon that mm -hmm. that they committed the crime with. Just like. Um, Example of lunchbox and statue. Right. So then, and then, uh, and then, so like they know what that is, and then the, it's the job of the uh, of the scientist to uh, the forensic like, scientist to, to tell like what how they died yep. and like some tiles come out that have like uh, you know uh, like setting and like because if the um, and the time of day if, and all kinds of weird stuff because of the um, because like the statue like it would like like. Like, for the cause of death would be, like, beaten with a hard... Yeah, like, so, like, it, they were, like, blunt, blunt or something. But then, yeah. if there's multiple... Uh, every, everybody has cards in front of them. So, so you want to try to pick... Uh, you know, the murderer wants to try to pick things that, that are in common around the table so that it's not easy to pinpoint them. Yeah. And the, and the scientists can't say anything. They just have to put these little tokens yep. on, uh, on these cards that, you know, that can help point yes. to them. Yeah. And so, yeah, because, like, so, the and the murderer has to try to, to, like, deflect blame and, like, say, right. like, yeah, 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 this, th it was this weapon, this <laughs> weapon, like, this is, def this is totally what they're talking about, yeah. and it was, def it was this, it was this thing, too. <laughs> but then you, the, but then you don't want to sound too guilty when you're doing that yeah. either, because I've, I've definitely gotten busted by that before. <laughs> so. Like, I, the, I've only played once, and I was the murderer. Yeah, it's it, always I, funny when you're the murderer. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's my number number one D game, uh, Deception, Murder in Hong Kong. My number one is guess what? Dinosaur mm, Island. Really? Oh. Yes. Okay. Um. Well, yeah, you're basically collecting the DNA, which mm -hmm. to make the dinosaurs and. Sometimes, yeah, you have to. You do have to get all those, um, all of the the theme parks, and I, I pretty much, I like it because like it, it is a huge game, so it has like a lot of it is mechanism, a huge game. mechanism. So like, there's a whole bunch of stuff to do on your turn. That's and true. Stuff like that, because like and like because it's like like there's like six phases or whatever. I think it's four. Or whatever. Um, yeah, but they all have they're all clearly laid out on different boards yes, that are sitting like, around the table. It's it's a huge game, but it, but it's explained well. Yeah, it, the, it flows really well. It's mm -hmm. super easy to understand because here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, because you try to score the money and get those get because they're, they're also the thing is is that some some dinosaurs have certain risk amounts. So like, cause like when you have like carnivorous Th threat level is what that yes. is, yeah. Where like if you have, cause like if you have herbivores, then they won't have any threat level mostly, or like right. They're probably not gonna escape yeah. any people. No, cause they don't want to. They just <laughs> eat leaves and sure. stuff. But and then um, but then there's like omnivores which have like one threat level. And then carnivores, which have like two threat levels. Yeah, like big T Rex, big scary T Rexes, also big scary pink T Rexes. Yes, they're all <laughs> pink for some reason. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's and, fun. And yeah, so, um, and yeah, there's all sorts of weird dinosaurs. I'm pretty sure aren't some of them probably made up. No, I think they're all real. Really? As as, well, okay. There's, there's, yeah. There's, but I think they're mostly real. Except for the promo for the space dino. Yeah. Space Dino. <laughs> Space Dino. Goofy. Yes. Uh, so that's my number one. Yeah, really. I'm I'm surprised that's your number one, but yeah, that's a that's a fun game because obviously I picked it as well. Mhm. Mm so we'll see you next time for the E. Yeah. The electrifying E. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. See you next time.